So, you want to be a hacker. Whether you're dreaming of becoming a cybersecurity expert, ethical hacker, or just the person in your friend group who actually knows what Wireshark does, there's one question you'll run into early. What's the best operating system for hacking? Hi, I'm Josh, and this channel is all about helping you become a highly paid cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or cloud pro. Fast. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Also, hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. And if you've already Googled it, you've probably been hit with a flood of lists, rankings, and top five hacking OS's videos that all say the same thing, usually in the same boring way. But today, we're not just listing names. We're diving into the why, how, and who these systems are actually made for, so you walk away not just informed, but confident in picking the right OS for your hacking journey. And hey, this is for educational purposes only. No dark web detours here. We're talking ethical hacking, white hat vibes only. Let's get into it. Now, if there's one name that makes beginners' eyes light up and their USB sticks tremble with anticipation, it's Kali Linux. This is the Beyonce of hacking operating systems. It's everywhere, from hacker movies to actual pen testing labs. Built by the folks at Offensive Security, Kali is like walking into a hacker's dream garage. Over 600 pre-installed tools just waiting for you to break things. Legally, of course. You've got Metasploit, Nmap, Burp Suite, Wireshark, all the big players ready to go the moment you boot up. It's like getting a Formula One car and immediately finding yourself on the track. But here's the thing. With great power comes a decent chance of crashing something if you don't know what you're doing. Kali isn't built for casual browsing or writing essays. It's made for security testing and learning the art of controlled chaos. So while it's a great tool, it's not your cozy, everyday OS. But maybe you're thinking, hmm, I want something powerful, but I also want my laptop fans to chill out for once. Well then, allow me to introduce you to Parrot OS. Kali's lighter, privacy-obsessed cousin. Parrot has most of the same tools, but it's designed to be easier on your system. Plus, it throws in anonymity tools right out of the box. Tor, I2P, and more. It's like Kali went on a diet and took a course on personal privacy. You can run it on older machines, use it for both ethical hacking and secure daily browsing, and honestly, it looks pretty slick too. Parrot is kind of like the hacker who wears a hoodie and knows how to encrypt their emails. Hey, sorry for interrupting your video, but I wanted to know, are you interested in building a career in ethical hacking? We created Learn Ethical Hacking from Scratch course just for you, and it's the perfect way to get started. In this course, you will learn how ethical hackers find vulnerabilities in your system, networks, and applications. You will learn hands-on skills like penetration testing, exploiting the weakness in a system, and all the tools that hackers use. You will also learn how to stay on the right side of the law. Cybersecurity is one of the fastest growing industries in the world, and hackers are high in demand. The global cybersecurity market is expected to reach $400 billion by 2028. There has never been a better time for you to jump in. Ethical hackers earn from $90,000 US dollars to $120,000 US dollars annually. Experts in this field make even more. So are you ready to kickstart your journey into ethical hacking? This course is your key to mastering hacking. We have placed the link to this course in the description. Enroll today and get started on a lucrative career path. Now back to the video. Now, let's say you're not here for flashy UIs or beginner-friendly tutorials. Maybe you're the type who drinks your coffee black, compiles your own kernel, and thinks user-friendly is a personal insult. That's when Black Arch enters the chat. Built on Arch Linux, this beast has more tools than any other distro, over 2,800 at last count. 
It's like having the entire hacking aisle of a cyber superstore. But be warned, Black Arch assumes you know what you're doing. Installation isn't plug and play unless you enjoy configuring things manually and occasionally yelling at your terminal. But if you do know what you're doing, you'll have the most customizable, powerful hacking system around. It's like Kali went to hacker grad school and came back with 10 certifications and a shaved head. Now, if that all sounds a bit intense and you're more of a minimalist, someone who values speed, simplicity, and not having to dig through 800 menus just to launch a tool, Backbox might be more your style. It's based on Ubuntu, meaning it's user-friendly, fast, and lightweight. It doesn't come with a ridiculous number of tools, but the essentials are there and the interface is clean. Think of Backbox as the Linux distro for hackers who also appreciate a little zen. You won't feel overwhelmed, and you can still get serious pen testing done without setting your laptop on fire. And finally, there's Pen2. This one's for the hackers who want to go deep. Built on Gen2, it's basically a custom-built high-performance machine that can do everything, if you're willing to put in the effort to configure it. Pen2 has a hardened kernel, comes with encryption tools, and is designed for security from the ground up. But like Gen2, it asks a lot from you. You'll need patience, Linux skills, and maybe a little caffeine-fueled stubbornness to get it just the way you want. It's not the most popular choice, but for those who love customization and performance tuning, Pen2 is like getting the keys to a hacker race car and being told, oh, by the way, you also get to build the engine. Now I know what you're thinking. Okay, but which one should I actually use? Here's the honest answer. It depends. If you're brand new, start with Kali or Parrot. They're ready out of the box, packed with tools, and have huge communities for support. If you're experienced and want more power and customization, try Black Arch, but bring your A-game. If you want something lightweight and stable for regular use, Backbox will treat you well. And if you love tweaking every bit and bite for performance, and you're not afraid of a little challenge, go wild with Pen2. The beauty of hacking OSs is that you don't have to pick just one. You can test them out using virtual machines, live USBs, or even dual boot setups. Try a few, break a few, Learn what works for you. Because the truth is, the best OS for hacking isn't the one with the most tools. It's the one that fits your workflow, your machine, and your learning style. So go ahead, download one, fire it up, and start exploring. Just remember, hack with ethics. Respect the law. And please, no trying to take down your school's Wi-Fi because your math test got postponed. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe, and drop a comment telling us what distro you're rocking. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.